will move to the next app which is Zodo so I will select the Zodo app so on Zodo app you see on the right side you see this uh, plus icon over here so just select it and it gives you uh, four different options you can uh, create a new pdf uh, create pdf from image from documents and from a web page so i select a pdf from documents so once i select it it will uh, take me to the location where i have my uh, pdf files available uh, so i will select uh, one pdf file so for example i select this pdf file and i select it and then i convert it okay and then i open this pdf file so you can see over here the pdf file is now open you see there are different pages on this pdf file okay so on top of it you see there are different tools available for the annotation so the first uh, tool is the highlighter tool okay so for example i select this one and then uh, you can highlight anything in your pdf for example i want to highlight this one till here okay so you can see over here it highlighted and then if you want you can also change the color for example yellow you see there are different colors available okay and then you can also change the color by yourself from here there are more colors option okay the next thing is the translation option you can also translate your highlighted text so you can see over here there is a translation icon so you just select it it will open the google for you and then you can easily translate to any language okay so i will go back okay uh, then uh, what else you can do is you can copy your text you can paste it into a different notes file as well and you can also so add, add the sticky notes uh, add to a comment to your highlighted text so for example i select this um, sticky note you can see you can write over here okay you can uh, write anything you can write any text that is related so i write over here so you can see over here and then you can save it so you can save the sticky note to your highlighted text the next tool is again a highlighter tool but it's like a free highlighter tool so you can see over here you can do it like this okay and then if you want you can also change the color for example like this color okay and then uh, the next tool is the underline tool okay so you can select any text that you want to underline for example i want to underline this one so you can see you can underline and then you can also change the line colors okay and uh, then we have the uh, pen tool handwriting tool so you can write it okay so you can see over here with your pen okay then we have the text tool over here okay so you can use the text tool as well you can write anything uh, onto your uh, you can see i will show you so i open you can type anything okay So you can type anything into uh, your PDF file as well. And the next uh, tool is the text strike out tool. So for example, I want to uh, text strike out this part. Okay, so you can see over here, you can do this as well. The next tool is the uh, text squiggly tool. So for example, if you want to use this option, you can also use the text squiggly tool. It will be like this one. And then we have the sticky note. Okay, so you can add sticky note anywhere. Okay, you can uh, use your sticky note to put your ideas okay or summaries okay so you can see you can save it so guys if you want to access more tools in the zodo there are more options available so if you uh, select from here you see there are draw tools okay so once you draw it will open the different uh, draw tools options so for example uh, you see there is a circle option you can draw a circle okay then this shape okay so you can create different shapes into your pdf as well okay and then we have like this arrow shape so you can create different arrows uh, into your pdf as well so there's a lot of options available then we have fill and sign so you can use uh, different signatures you can create your own signature so for example you can create your signature like this one okay so then you press done and once you um, want to finish with your work and you want to use this signature you can do it so for example i put it like this and the signature will appear over here okay and uh, then if you go over here we have the view mode there are different view modes available 
and the next thing is how you can access uh, your annotation pages so there there is option for that so for example you you see there are browse thumbnails option so you just select it okay so all the pages will open in front of you now you only want to see where you do your annotation okay so you just go over here in this filter tool just select it and then you see this annotated option just select it and it will only show you the pages where you do your annotation so you see i do my annotation on these four pages so i can easily access these four pages okay so you can see over here so this is how you can use this app the other option is you have a, a prepare form you have insert tool maya tool pens okay so you have a lot of option available in the zodo app and uh, then if you want to extract your text you can also do it and you can put it into your samsung notes as well so again what you have to do is you can just use this uh, edge panel and take out the samsung notes like this just drag it in the split screen open it like this and then you can open a new page okay for example i open a new page you can import your pdf text over here so for example i want to uh, extract this text okay so i just select it okay so i just select it like this so till here okay and then uh, what i can do is i can copy it you see there is a option for copy so i just copy it okay and then simply i come over here okay and then i just put my pen like this and then i paste it okay so you can see over here i um, extract my text from this sudo file okay and i put into my samsung notes and here if you want you can do your all the annotations whatever you want you can write okay you can do a lot in this uh, area as well the next thing is once you finish with your uh, pdf annotation in this zodo app okay so what you can do is uh, you just select it and then you see these three dots over here and then you see this option of save a copy so you, you see there are different options you can save identical copy flattened copy reduce file size copy permanently cropped copy password protected copy so you have a lot of option you can save your pdf your annotated pdf and the uh, the original pdf will also be there so you can uh, use different option there are different options available if you want to add pages you can also add pages again these three dots you see this edit pages option and then we have the add uh, page option as well so there are different page options available as well okay uh, so guys this is for today's video i hope you like the video i hope you enjoy the video so please do subscribe to my channel guys thank you very much